So very good morning and welcome back to another video. Now a week ago I travelled up to the Lake District and shot side by side my Canon 5D Mark III and my Olympus EM5 Mark II. And I came to a realisation, it's time to say goodbye to Canon. This time I have been a Canon user. So we started with a 350D, then there was a 4000D which was rubbish, then there was a 200D, then a 6D, then we moved to the Canon RP and the EOS M6, then we moved back to DSLRs with the 7D, the 1D Mark III, finally the 5D Mark III, and I'm fairly certain there may have been a 400D in there as well somewhere. So I have used and abused a lot of Canon cameras over the years and never really fell in love with one and found something that did everything that I needed to do, did it well, and I enjoyed using. Until we discovered the Olympus cameras with the Olympus EM10 Mark II, and then the Olympus EM5 Mark II. One of the biggest reasons why I've never really enjoyed using the Canon stuff is the size and the weight of it all. So this is my standard zoom lens for my Canon cameras, my 24 to 105 f4. This is the Micro Four Thirds-ish equivalent that I have, which is the 14 to 42, 3.5 to 5.6. It's a lot smaller, it's a lot lighter, it's a lot more enjoyable to bring around with you. And I think that is a key word there, enjoyment. That is what photography should be about. You should go out there and find a camera system that you enjoy using. And the Olympus stuff, I've really enjoyed using. So today we're gonna to use the EM1 Mark II, which is potentially the camera that I'm going to invest in. I'm here with Dave Flower, he's loaned me his. So let's go have a play with that camera and see how we get along with it. Let's get stuck in. The Olympus EM1 Mark II, 20 megapixels, 60 frames a second base mode, 80 megapixel high res shooting mode, 4K video, 4K cine video as well. It does everything that I need it to do. It's small, it's lightweight, it's compact. It's about the same size as my Canon RP. Weighs a little bit more, it's about the same size. I can live with that. This is my 14 to 42 millimeter lens on it. So I've just been taking some photographs around here and just seeing how they turn out. I really quite like this camera. I am wondering if it is going to be my next step. I just need to find a box big enough for all the Canon stuff. I'm leaning towards it. I really, really am. The Ibis in this, I don't need tripods. I can just walk around taking pictures instead of having to worry about setting things up on tripods. Image stabilisation is something I've never really had with Canon. And the Ibis in this is fantastic. Let's keep playing. Let's keep having a go and see what we can come up with. So there is another kind of photography that I sometimes dabble with, and that is the macro photography. So I own a macro lens, it's a Sigma 105mm 2.8. So that kind of lens is something that I would have to look at picking up again if I was to swap systems completely. It just so happens that Dave, who I'm here with now, has a macro lens, it's the 60mm f2.8. So let's have a play with this, let's see if we can take a macro photo. So we're going to use a high resolution shooting mode on this camera, which will give us an 80 megapixel RAW file which just sounds like all kinds of fun. Let's go ahead, let's take the photograph. There is a small green shoot growing off of this mossy log. So let's take this photograph then. 80 megapixel raw file, touch the screen with a touch shutter, two second timer, and 80 megapixel macro photo. That sounds like fun to me. Here it is. <laughs> it's a tractor. I'll wait, it's a slow tractor. So a lot of my favourite images have been taken with my 5D Mark III and an old 6D that I used to have. Canon full frame cameras, Canon full frame lenses, L series glass, image quality is up there with the best of them. But over time I've kind of realised where my images are actually showcased on these YouTube videos, on Instagram, on a website, compression, nobody's going pixel peeping, nobody's seen the high resolution stuff. And I've kind of realised that my new favourite images that have been taken with this 
when they're actually showcased they look exactly the same i'm not going to be losing out on anything realistically by making this trade it's just a scary trade for me to do i've had fun today with dave's ear one mic too it's the camera that i'm probably going to pick up along with the 12 to 42.8 pro and possibly the same macro lens that dave has the 60 millimeter 2.8 it's a scary time but I think the time has come where my photography goals and needs have shifted now. I don't need clinical sharpness. I just need a camera that goes out and takes fun. And at the end of the day, these things are just tools. That is all they are. They are just tools. A camera is a camera. A lens is a lens for the most part. So with that being said, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help the video. It brings new viewers to see my content. If you liked it more than that, there is a subscribe button down below. You can hit that and you'll see more content from me every single week. So until the next time, I'm going to love you and leave you and say peace and goodbye.